what's good youtube this your boy richard j sneaks coming at you guys today with a new video as you guys can see right now just parked up about to go ahead and make our way into ross look what they have sitting around see if we can find some steals and deals in here in the men's side kids side as well as the ladies side if you guys are ready for today's video make sure you guys go ahead and stop what you guys are doing drop a like right now in today's video but with that being said you guys gonna get straight into it Alright you guys, I'm at the Ross that has the big sizes starting first and then it works its way down to the smaller sizes. So we're gonna start off here. See what we can find. First thing is size 14 of slippers. Get your husband right for the Christmas time. Buy them now. 13, I mean $30 for those dreamers in here. Find your own clearance, 30 bucks. Was originally 45. And this one is a size eight and a half. But I think that don't sound right because it's a, a little bit more bigger in person. But those are finally on clearance. I think you seen these in the last video in a different Ross, but they wasn't on clearance. They were just regular price. These are now on clearance for $28. It was $40. Some Adidas size 6. Say ladies, but it's over here in the men's section. So those once again in here on clearance. Stan Smith's Kermit edition, not easy being green, size seven, no tag on them, but it is 50 bucks, hope they're gonna tag there in the uh, inside of there, but it's 50 bucks, size seven, men's. Might be a quick trip at this Ross, cause this one doesn't have anything in here. We already over here in the kids section, got some vans, old schools, gray and white, 30 bucks. This one is a size four and a half which is still the green colorway, but not much in this Ross, man. So I'm glad that the Burlington is not too far away from here because it'll probably be a bummer of a trip. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying the other couple of videos I've been dropping before this one. So make sure you guys go ahead and check those out if you guys haven't. But more vans right here with the comfy soles, so it's a little bit more lighter. You got like the print on there, $27, kids size 5Y. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Vans and Discovery Channel. Keeping things in the kids section. Got some Doc Martens right here. Size 5, 60 bucks. They are a little heavy, but then at the same time, like the material on the uppers is thin, but the sole of the actual boot itself is a little on the heavy side. But these are very clean. I'm gonna look them up because I was told on my last video that Doc Martens go for a little bit. So I might check these out, see what they're going for. But not too bad, not too bad. We finally ended up finding another pair of the Vans Fluffy Checker. I know the other pair that we found had the purple nail polish in the back as well as in the inside. This one is a size five, 25 bucks. Not bad for these. These are very clean, I ain't gonna lie. Just that old school Vans look, but with the fur on it. Very, very clean. Also got these Adidas up here. Got the Boost 1180, not really sure what these are. Going for 40 bucks, five and a half. Very, very clean, I ain't gonna lie. Clean shoe, clean shoe. For sure, this is what they call right here. Style cold and everything as well, right you guys see five right there. That's gonna be those. All right, so now we found me made over to the women's section. Found some Uggs over here with the sparkly sparklies on the front. 60 bucks for these. Uh, size eight women. Be in the women's section now, finding some bands. Band size seven, 33 bucks. Low top hunter. Rain boots, 70 bucks. Burgundy and like pink colorway. More of those rainbow Ugg slippers. More Uggs popping up at Ross as well. You guys can see another pair here. This one doesn't say the size, but they want 60 bucks for these as well. It say size seven. And these got like the little rain protection on the outside of them. Not sure how it will look after having them for a while, but hey, they're in here. More Hornet boots right here, but on a hot top form. This one is gonna be a US 8, and they want 70 bucks for these as well. Somewhere already trying them on, got a little stain on them, but you guys already know, Roski, you guys are 10% off if you guys find some shoes with a stain or defect on it. So make sure you guys go ahead and take full accountability for that. Low top vans right here, 37 bucks. More vans here as well. I feel like we saw like vans 
and random stuff, but mostly vans at Ross now. At least for mines. <laughs> Hopefully we start to see a change later on, but more Uggs, $12, I mean, size 12, 30 bucks. 100 boots up here, I top 75 bucks for these. But I think that's gonna pretty much be it. Not too sure if there's gonna be one full video, so if it ends up being one full video, let me know which shoe is your favorite from today's haul down in the comment section down below. If it's not, and I go to Burlington and add it in, go ahead and stay tuned for the whole video. So with that being said, you guys, in the meantime, between time you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I right, see so you guys either have Burlington or I'm about to hit. Now, I know I said I was gonna end up going to Burlington or to Marshalls in this video, but I decided to go ahead and pop up at the mall, which was Hearthorn Mall. Now, Hearthorn Mall was in the area where I was at sourcing, so I decided to go ahead and stop off here and check out the only sneaker store they have in this one mall, which is still surprising because I feel like this store, this mall is really big, and I feel like they should have way more sneaker stores than just the one. They have like one or two uh, resale shops in there, but we ain't looking for no re uh, resale shops. We're looking for just retail. But if you guys are ready for the rest of today's video, make sure you guys go ahead and get down in the comment section down below and let me know which is your favorite. Hand sanitizer. And uh, let's go ahead and check and see if we can find sitting at the mall today, man. All right, Sneaky. So once getting into the mall, we finally made it to finish line. Once again, it's the only sneaker store at this mall. So I'm gonna go through this really, really quick. I don't wanna hide you guys in this video for too long. But as you guys see, we found some up tempos that was on sale as well as the French brew sitting around. Still, they didn't have, they did have them in the men's and kids side, none on the women's, as well as we did find the typical, typical, which was the Citrus Sevens sitting around on the men's side as well as the GS side as well. On the GS side or the kids side, I did not show you guys because I already showed you guys them when we went to Woodfield on my last mall vlog. So if you guys haven't checked that one out, make sure you guys go ahead and check that one out as well. We also ended up finding these all over red Air Force One lows as well as these up tempos and these same up tempos that, that we found right here is the same ones that we found at the nike outlet and our last previous nike outlet vlog um they had them in there as well and a lot of different sizes on the gs side so it's pretty cool seeing those sitting over here at finish line and the men's side as well so i guess that's a unisex uh sneaker of the up tempos in that black and purple colorway we also end up finding those question fours on sale as well now these i decided to go ahead and check because when I recently went to Ross and Burlington, I found this same shoe sitting in the store, but I didn't know what it was. Didn't even know that was a new Nike model, but obviously it is because it's sitting at a Nike, I mean, at finish line on the shelf. So which means that shoe was either made within the last six months to a year. So it's actually pretty dope seeing the shoes that's still on the shelf at retail stores actually popping up at Burlington and at Ross. Cause I know a lot of people will be thinking like, hey, are these shoes any good? Are they fake? Are they? not that good as why they're at burlington and just no i think they're just overstock shoes that nike just sends out to the other retail stores not just only finished line full locker and as well champs but it was still dope seeing certain shoes that you know pop up at burlington still at finish line but but that's going to be it on the video you guys you guys let me know which shoe was your favorite from ross as well as the finish line store that we popped into at the end of the video you guys let me know all that stuff down in the comments down below but in the meantime between time you guys originate things i'll see you guys on the next one so i'm about to here Peace.